Hey everyone, welcome to Aquarius December 2018 reading. Let's see what is going on for Aquarius. Sun, moon, rising sign. Venus in your love life. If you're having a tough time navigating Mercury retrograde, well then, Aquarius in your Mercury. Remember that this is a general reading, so not all messages will resonate with everyone. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Four of Wands, you're thinking about coming together with someone at work, home life, family life, blended families, celebrating, perhaps getting together for the holidays. Oh, but you're afraid of the <laughs> family fighting, of the comments that are made within the family, of being in the outs, people not getting along. <sighs> wow, you are worried about that. Family not getting along for the holidays. I'm sorry, Aquarius. Okay, so let's see what is going on for Aquarius, December 2018. What is going on? December 2018 general reading for Aquarius. I wanna thank everyone who has been supporting me, who has booked personal readings. I absolutely appreciate everyone. If you'd like to book a personal reading, you can find my information in the description box below. And let's get to it. This will include your love life reading halfway through the video. And then I'm gonna end this reading with a sneak peek at your 2019 forecast, okay? So let's see what's going on for Aquarius. Sun, moon, rising signs for December, 2018. Two of Pentacles. Overall message for Aquarius. What do they need to hear for December 2018? The Empress card. Another three. Three of Wands. Knight of Pentacles. Page of Swords. Five of Pentacles, you are worried about this home life, family life. Ten of Cups, Ace of Swords. Two more, please. And two more you shall get. Four of Cups and Six of Wands. So some of you Aquarius may be trying to figure out how you can find emotional, financial, <laughs> mental, physical stability, balance within your family life, your home life, especially around the holidays. Sometimes we've got to, yeah, you're definitely thinking of that. Sometimes we've got to deal with you know, certain things, certain issues, certain topics that come up around families. Maybe somebody here likes to talk about politics. Maybe somebody here likes to talk about money, religion. You know, those types of topics that we don't normally like to bring out, you know, in fear of people getting into a heated argument or a disagreement. Perhaps people start drinking and, you know, out come the, uh, miss the miscommunication, things like that. It just really, I feel as though it really wears you down. If for some of you, that person that you are worried about is your mother, um, you are trying to figure out how to move forward in a positive way, especially around the holidays at this time. And I say the holidays because that's generally when we all really get together in the month of December, right? Unless there's a wedding or family, if you've got that going on. However, for some of you also, I feel like you've probably, you know, contemplating whether or not you want to give birth to uh, new ideas, new beginnings, a uh, different type of future than what you had originally had in mind. Because I do feel as though you are looking towards the future. You do want to make these changes. You are trying to figure out what is next for you. You're at a point in your life where everything that you've been thinking about, wanting to manifest for yourself, wanting to create this family life, this home life, you know, victory, success, 
everything that you've been wanting for yourself that just almost seemed like it was unattainable, unreachable, you're finally starting to see it in your purview, right? So you're finally seeing that, hey, maybe I can manifest this. Maybe I can get married. Maybe I can, you know, have babies, um, you know, get married, have children, have a family. A part of you, I think, may have felt as though that was never going to happen for you, those that have been waiting a while for it to happen. Uh, another part of you here that may already have children, single parents, are trying to figure out if you're ever going to find victory and success in a new relationship because maybe it, you know, you felt as though after being left out in the cold in your past relationship and being left a single parent, you know, slowly moving towards your own financial stability, your own balance, you're now starting to see that light at the end of the tunnel, whether or not this can come, you know, to fruition for you. There are so many different ideas for different Aquariuses here. So whatever applies to you, Aquarius, that two of pentacles tells me that you are trying to find your balance. You're trying to weigh out your options, figure out which path to take, which road to take, uh, what changes you will be making to be able to have this new beginning because the Empress card is not just about pregnancy and babies, but it's also about new beginnings and giving birth to new ideas. So you may have had a specific idea of what you wanted for your life, for your future, for your family, you know, whatever it may be. And you were inching towards that sense of, you know, future of what you had wanted in the past. But now that view is starting to change. Whether it was something that changed financially for you and you realized that what you were trying to manifest wasn't going to happen after all. Or maybe there were other people involved that were kind of blocking you and holding you back. And so you had to take on that sense of cutting people out. Letting those that were not there for your highest good, letting them fall to the wayside. You standing strong with the image of what you want for your future. Some of you, if you are in this page of swords energy, you have an idea of what you want, but you're at the idea stage. You know that every change, every choice, every decision that you make, it leads towards that future that you've been working towards. Whether it's, you know, happy wife, happy life, family, children, whether it's being successful in your income, in your job, in your career, you know, whether it's, you know, may, maybe you felt like you missed an opportunity in the past and now you have an opportunity to really succeed and move forward, whatever it may be financially, in the home, that career, that job, you get the money that you want, you're waiting for an offer in love or in money. Either way, I do see cards of looking into the future, trying to figure out what is next for Aquarius, new beginnings, and how that new beginning is going to look like for you what that's going to look like for you in the beginning and how victorious will you be because you have two beautiful cards of victory and success of enlightenment of truth of finally coming to terms with the uh, the fact that you have the ability to make this happen for yourself because some of you may have been a little stressed or worried for some time that you weren't going to have this stable home, family life, financial success that you had wanted. And that kept you in the hanged man position where you felt like you weren't moving forward. You kept toying with, yes, I want X, Y, Z, but ABC is still keeping me stuck over here, right? And so you have the hanged man there. And taking a break and not being able to move forward is okay when you're the hanged man, whether upright or reverse, because that gives you the time that you need to come to your own truth, your own enlightenment as to what comes next. It's going to take you some time to finally get to that point. 
simply because the hangman is upright and not in reverse. If he was in reverse, it's because you are already at that point of enlightenment. Right now you have an idea of what that might be, but you're not essentially moving forward too quickly. You are taking it slow. That Knight of Pentacles, if you're embodying that Knight of Pentacles energy, you are taking it slow right now with that Death card. You're taking it slow because this is a period of transformation for you. This is a time of change, of putting to bed old ways. Look at that. You had an idea of what you wanted for your future, what you were trying to manifest for yourself, for your family, career, finances, love, family, whatever it may be. And so you were moving slowly towards it because I feel that for some of you, you knew what you wanted, but you didn't want it 100%. And don't, don't get crazy with me, Aquarius, because I know some of you are like, oh no, I know what I wanted. Yeah, but your, your outlook started changing a little. It really started changing a little because as you change, as you grow, as you heal, as your outlook changes, so do your future visualizations of what's to come. And so it's perfectly fine to move slow. Look at that. Moving forward, moving forward, moving forward. You are moving forward. Forward movement is good whether fast or slow because either way it is still forward movement. Be proud of yourself, Aquarius. You are getting through some hurdles. You are moving forward. You are at a point of manifesting the life that you want for yourself because now as you are in this hanged man energy, you are changing your outlook. You are changing, in essence, your needs, your wants, everything changes as you start evolving, as you start healing, as you start putting things behind you that didn't work for you, and you start moving forward in a much more positive light. One more card before I move on. Okay, I need another card for that Seven of Cups. Because I feel as though a part of you have been in this daydream mode where you come to a point of saying, okay, I know I've been saying that I want this for myself and now I have the opportunity to manifest it, but why am I taking it slow? Why are you second guessing yourself? Why are you questioning yourself, Aquarius? Are you afraid that it won't manifest for you? Another card of forward movement. This is forward movement, peaceful, calmer waters. This is also a card of finding balance. Finally, a sense of completion where things may have been tumultuous and painful in the Five of Swords card. You finally turn your back on that ugly, asshole, uh, un unsteady energy of the Five of Swords. Because the Five of Swords is very, very harsh energy. This is being at war with yourself internally, being at war with others, not being able to manifest, not being able to move forward because of this negative, toxic you know, energy, whether this is your own that you were holding in or somebody else's that was around you but you turn your back on it and you move forward. Another card of forward movement, of victory. I love it. This is freaking amazing for you guys. And if this has to do with work, I feel as though this is a partnership in your job, someone that you have been working towards, you know, maybe partnering up with, working together with. Let me pull a Daily Guidance Oracle just because I felt compelled to pull one for you. Daily Guidance from your angels for Aquarius.
have confidence. Moving forward does not necessarily require you to have confidence in yourself. Confidence in God is enough, along with knowing that God works through you and with you in all ways. Lean upon us if your confidence wavers and we will buoy, buoy, I always have a hard time saying that, your courage and faith, right? So sometimes you don't feel confident in yourself in being able to manifest this outcome, but you need to trust the process and have confidence and faith that everything here is working out in your favor, right? Isn't that what it's saying? Moving forward. Everything I've been saying here, these cards are about forward movement for you. Messages from your angels. What message do you have for Aquarius, December 2018? Angel Athena, it is safe for you to be powerful, you know how to be powerful in a loving way that benefits others as well as yourself. So yes, it is okay to own who you are, own your power, move forward, make changes that benefit your future. The life you want for yourself, the life you want for your family, it's okay to have confidence and power and realizing that you are a powerful manifester. Whispers of Love Oracle for Aquarius, December 2018, please. <laughs> no joke, I can't make this shit up, right? Have faith. Trust your faith in this situation. Aquarius, I know you think that you're being positive and you're being, you know, open to whatever happens. I know that you're thinking, but I'm staying optimistic. But there's a part of you that may waver and linger back and forth. Have confidence. Have faith. It is safe for you to be powerful. Everything here is about forward movement, transformation, and changes that you are making in your life that are for your highest good. Embrace it and move forward. Anything that is not for your highest good is where that page of sword comes in handy. Why? Because he is the one that's going to cut away through the bullshit who not only uses the sword, that sword of truth and victory, to cut away what does not serve him, but also through that sword has the ability to communicate what needs to be said in order for these changes that need to take place in your life for that forward movement, for that new beginning, giving birth to new ideas, new beginnings, new chapters in your life, or just giving birth period, because maybe some of you finally decide it is time to have a baby, or maybe you are already expecting. So if you are, congratulations, right? If you're thinking about it, good luck, wish you the best. And let's move on to your love life reading for Aquarius. December 2018, what does Aquarius have going on for December 2018? Straight up single Aquariuses, what do they have look, to look forward to? December 2018. Straight up single, Aquarius, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. You got two cards. Okay. Playfulness and deception. Someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. And playfulness, to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So, you've got two cards here. I, I feel that it can go two ways. I feel as though for some of you straight up singles, both of those oracle cards can be viewed separately. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. You need to bring about a sense and an energy of playfulness in your life 
in your relationships, in your friendships, around other people, if you've been dating, if you're thinking of dating. Together, I feel as though there are situations, circumstances in your life, at work, in your family, that you aren't speaking of. And that is where the deception comes in. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. The fact that deception comes out with playfulness doesn't tell me that the deception is playfulness, that you're being playful with other people. It feels as though there are bigger things that you are stressed out about. You want to keep anything new, anyone new that comes into your life. You want to keep it light and happy and playful. And you don't want to make them aware of some of the heavy burdens that you've been carrying. And that is the deception. I also feel that for some of you, you've got, you're not being completely honest in these opportunities when you meet someone new. If you just newly met someone, if you're dating, you're not being 100% honest. If you are talking to more than one person, if you're, kind of just dating around openly. Nobody knows about each other, so nobody knows that you're dating more than one person. Um, there's also a sense here of you being interested in someone uh, a lot more serious than they are taking you and vice versa. It could be that you don't want something serious and they do. And you're just kind of, you know, killing time with them, basically. So let's see. Let's clarify these cards. Playfulness, please, for straight up single Aquarius. Ten of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. Four of Swords. One more, please. Okay. Nice. Ten of cups. And let's clarify the deception card, please. Aquarius singles. December 2018. Oh, yeah. Eight of swords. Why the deception card? Please clarify. Stuck in your head about a lot of situations here. Two more cards, please, for that deception card. Let's clarify. Four of Wands, one more. The Emperor. I am going to read them separately. For some of you, it may have a significance to read them together. However, you can, you can figure that one out on your own. I don't feel the Deception card is for everyone. So I'm going to read them separately for Straight Up Single Aquarius. Playfulness, right? You may have met someone new, someone recently, where you've got two tens here, ten of pentacles and ten of cups. You're really, really thinking about, uh, you know, creating this future with someone new that just came into your life. I have earth signs, double earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I have water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and... Uh, air signs, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. When I see the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups, along with the Nine of Pentacles, which is someone who is single and appears to have their shit together, right? And, you know, they, they seem to be like they are in a place, they're in a very good place where they're able to manifest and move forward with something that they want. Perhaps it's also something that you want. And having two tens here tells me you've reached that point where you know this is it. This is, this is what I'm going to do. This is the one I'm going to put effort into with the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. It's emotional stability, happiness in the home. And Ten of Pentacles... 
This is about growth and building together, building a life together. Taking two lives coming together and you are taking this really, you know, nice and easy, slow approach because that four of swords, you know, the four of swords after you've dealt with a great deal of disappointment in the past or heartache or heartbreak. You prepare yourself to what comes next. And I don't think you were ready, waiting for or ready for something like this to come in. Someone that you feel that you can grow with, that you can build with, that you have a future with. Someone that you can feel playful with. And so with this four of swords, I feel as though you're like, okay, I'm ready. But I gotta, I gotta make sure I don't fuck this up. I gotta make sure that I move forward with confidence at ease. I follow whatever pace they want. I don't want to screw this up. Keep it playful. Keep it lighthearted. Keep it happy, stable, and consistent. Okay, Aquarius, now let's move on to the deception card. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Oh my God. Eight of Swords, Knight of Cups, Four of Wands, and the Emperor. For those of you with this deception card that this may apply to you, you have this sense, this need of having control over your home life. You want, you want this relationship, you want to manifest this Four of Wands your way. You can't seem to get out of your own way. You are blocking yourself here. Eight of Swords. You're thinking and overthinking. This, this is self-imposed imprisonment. You put yourself here. So you may be the one making an offer or the offers are coming in to you. You know what you want. You act like you don't. You act like you're just like, oh yeah, let's see where this goes. But deep down inside, you're like, no, 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 no. I don't like that person already because they didn't say this. They didn't do that. They didn't do the right thing. They didn't say the right thing. I want it my way or the highway. And you send them packing. But then you go back to this eight of swords like, was I too harsh? Should I have said that? Should I have done that? What am I supposed to do here? How... Do I control myself from not losing control and losing an opportunity at this relationship? Because I do feel that for some of you, it's a sense of fear that you're hiding from other people. You don't want them to know how fearful you are at losing stability in the home, in the family life. You definitely have people coming in or this is you seeing that there are people that you would be interested in making those offers. But the Knight of Cups, that's not an idea of an offer. That is an offer coming in. That's a spontaneous date. That is someone saying, hey, you know what? Let's do this. Let's go there. Let's, you know, let's have fun. Let's do something fun. And, you know, they take you out of your comfort zone and maybe you're not used to that. It, it's kind of scary to you because you feel as though they're unpredictable in what they present to you and you have like this need for control and stability your way. And I feel as though you're letting on like it's okay for them to be spontaneous and fun and playful. But you need some of that playful energy as well or you're going to drive yourself crazy at this eight of swords. Now, remember, a partnership is between two people. You cannot control the other person, but you can control how you are in a partnership. Let's clarify the deception card. I'm going to pull a few more cards. And I am going to get some Rebel Deck Tarot cards because some of you need some straight up messages. Yeah, there's this inner conflict. You've got yourself stuck in your head. You're thinking and overthinking. 
every offer that comes in. Let it go. That's your need for control. Let it go. You need to just trust that the right partner will come in and give you that four of wands energy because you will know it when you feel it. Really? Are you freaking kidding me? You want to even control the offers that come into you? You're closing the door to any new possibility of new opportunities coming in. You're giving off this energy of, no, God, I hope they don't ask me out. Oh my God, I'm not interested in, the, in that person. I'm not, you know, I, I don't want that. And, you know, and, and so what does that do? That sends out a message to the universe. You're saying, yes, I want the marriage, the family, uh, the happily ever after, but not the way you want to give it to me, universe. I want it my way. It's my way or the highway. And you know what the universe says? Oh, we'll see about that. I'm going to show you all these wonderful opportunities that come in. And because you continue to have this conflict with yourself in your mind, those opportunities are going to go away. Two of Pentacles. It flew out. I picked it up. I put it back in the deck and it came out again. You are torn between releasing yourself from these expectations, yeah, of needing absolute control in the outcome. You are so fearful that in the end you won't get what you want or deserve. So give me the T, Rebel Deck Tarot. What is the absolute message that Aquarius needs to hear to get through this self-deception? You are the best thing to ever happen to you. Go easy on your ass, buy your own damn drink. Okay, another card flew out. Give me one second. Take a shot. Don't take 12, take one. Okay, maybe two, move on. Move on from this need to be the one in control, the one that needs to be in the driver's seat at all times. Somebody comes in, makes you an offer, you talk, you're, you know, you're, you go out with them a couple times, they say or do something or wear something that, you know, it, it, it's petty, it's nitpicky. You send a message to the universe every time that happens. It says, I'm not as open to love as I'm saying that I am. Send me only my prerequisites, right? A, B, C, and D. So be careful what you ask for, Aquarius. You just might get it with a price to pay for that, okay? Aquarius singles, that was a long one. Let me move on to Aquarius couples. Aquarius couples, married, living together, in-betweeners, exclusively dating. What is going on for Aquarius couples? For December 2018. Aquarius, December 2018, couples, married, Living together in betweeners. Wow, oh my God. That deception card. Oh my God, I'm taking one more. It is safe for you to love. What is going on with you guys, Aquarius? Seriously, Aquarius couples. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. There are issues in this relationship you are not speaking of. You are keeping to yourself. But I am going to clarify this deception card for Aquarius couples. And also it is safe for you to love, open your heart, to give and receive the highest energy of all. 
Let's start with the deception card. Ace of Cups. I'm putting it back in because I'm still shuffling. So let's move on to that deception card. Ten of Wands. King of Wands. Knight of Cups. Ace of Pentacles and the Hanged Man. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. The Fool card. Queen of Wands. Okay. This is about a marriage, a partnership, soulmate relationship. Wow, Aquarius, you guys are so extra. Both singles and couples got two Romance Angel Oracle cards. Ten of Pentacles. One more and let's get moving. Seven of Cups. Okay. Aquarius couples deception. Right? Someone is wearing a false self mask here. In this relationship, this is the couples married, partnered up, living together. Ten of Wands. King of Wands, Knight of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, and the Hanged Man. Are you feeling stagnant in this relationship? Are you afraid that there's more going on that you're not aware of? You feel blinded? Some of you feel blindsided about whether or not your partner is going to want to take this to the next level. Someone keeping money from someone? Eight of Cups, the Devil card, Two of Pentacles, Three of Wands. Okay, for some of you, the deception here is that you've been thinking of moving on. You feel like this is going nowhere fast. And as much as you've anticipated a future with this person if you're not married yet or even if you are and you're thinking of separating there are other options here for you that you have been thinking of taking on perhaps someone else comes in and offers you an opportunity for a new beginning you maybe want to indulge in this new beginning you maybe want to see if there's anything to it because the current relationship you are in feel stressful and binding you feel tied to them you feel a responsibility to them whereas at one point you thought you had a future with them now you're kind of toying with the idea is this the one for me or is this new person that's coming in for me could be a capricorn or an aries leo sagittarius can also be a water sign pisces cancer scorpio However, I'm feeling that with that devil card, that, that temptation that comes in that wants to take you away from your current situation is not the best. Yeah. They will cause inner conflict and turmoil. It will cause such turmoil in the family, in your home life. You think that maybe you can handle this situation financially on your own starting something new with someone else you've got what it takes to manifest a future for yourself however you're weighing out your options financially it's almost as though you want to give in to this other option or opportunity that comes in this other opportunity for love or partnership but you're not being 100 percent honest with anyone with either partner 
Because at the end of the day, when you think of looking forward, when you think of what you want for your future, you're thinking financial stability, not emotional stability. You're thinking which partner will bring me the most stability and consistency and that's who I will be with. That's who I will stay with. With that devil card, you know that the other person that's coming in that's been tempting you is merely a temptation. They don't have what it takes to bring in what you want for financial stability. And you know it. Maybe they're promising you the world, but you know it. And so for some of you, it is safe for you to love this new opportunity. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. With the Fool card, this is a new romance, a new love, a new partnership. This is a very fresh and new relationship that comes in. You see them as a soulmate partner. You see them as the one for you where you can actually be victorious in building and manifesting however there's a sense of this daydreaming quality where you know that you can picture a future with them, but you're a little hesitant at the same time because you're afraid that you're getting ahead of yourself. This is someone you picture as a husband, a wife, mother or father of your children, someone you build a future with. It is safe for you to love. So this is a new romance, a new opportunity, a new relationship, a new opportunity to build and manifest with someone new. But there are things that you are not aware of or there are things that they are not aware of. There's more to this situation. There are certain situations that perhaps you haven't been 100% honest, perhaps about money, your home, your family, a sense of responsibility to them that you haven't been completely open and honest with them about. So you feel a sense of responsibility financially to a family. If you feel responsible for your parents, you have children that are still dependent on you, family members, you know, siblings, whoever that you feel like, well, I'm helping them out. And now it's time for a new life, a new beginning for you. This new person that has come into your life isn't aware of just how big that responsibility is that you are feeling for your family. You have the 10 of pentacles twice. So you're wondering, can I continue to carry on this responsibility to my family and build something new with this new person that comes in? And you're just not sure. You're just not sure if you can keep up with helping out the family and building a life for yourself. And that's where the confusion comes in. That's where the delusion and the daydreaming comes in. It's like, I know I want this, but can I manifest this? Is this going to bite me in the ass if I don't tell them everything? If I don't let them in on how heavy this financial burden to my family really is for me? You're definitely not being completely honest about it. You're kind of hoping that, you know, people kind of you know, get up and do their own thing and they're not dependent on you anymore. If you've got older children living with you, you know, you're like, Jesus, can you finish college and get a job already? Or didn't you already get that degree? Shouldn't you be getting a job already? Shouldn't you be pulling your own weight here? Why am I, why am I the one with the responsibility? When do I get to live my life and make my own family, build my own life? right? Because there's a new love here that's about to happen that if you have, if you've just recently met someone, this is a very, very new relationship. It is safe for you to love. It tells you that because it's a new beginning, a new chapter in your life. You haven't fully made them aware of everything going on in your home life though. And this is a new life. That's a new love that's ready to be manifested. 
you can be victorious here but there is a need of communication you need to let them in as to just how heavy you feel responsible for maintaining this financial stability for your family if you're taking care of an elderly parent person family member grandparent if you've got children with someone else if you've got family members pets whatever it may be that ten of pentacles shows an entire family pretty much you've worked so hard to help other people in your family now's your chance for a new love, new beginning, a new opportunity. You need to make sure that you communicate honestly, openly, and truthfully to be able to make this happen for yourself. Okay, Aquarius couples, that was your reading. I hope that resonated with you. Please hit the like button, comment, share, subscribe. Let me know how that resonated for you. Let's get moving. Let's move on to your sneak peek of your 2019 forecast. What does 2019, what awaits for Aquarius in 2019? All right, here we go. Aquarius, sneak peek 2019. What can Aquarius expect? the essence of their 2019 year, their 2019 forecast, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising Signs, and Venus. Three cards, Spirit, please, three cards for 2019. Thousand nineteen for Aquarius yearly forecast. Just a sneak peek. Give me three cards, please. Be assertive. Meditation brings answers. One more, please. Yes, I love it. The answer is yes. Okay. You're making changes in your life as you close out 2018. Big changes in your life. In order for you to manifest the future that you want and what the new year has for you, you need to be assertive when making those changes. If you are not assertive, people won't take you seriously. People won't. In essence, I feel as though people may be blocking you from making those changes because you've given up your power because you've allowed themself inadvertent you've allowed them to make those blocks those changes in your life inadvertently meditation brings answers so what do you do next in order to be assertive here how can you be assertive in this situation without hurting anyone's feelings without you know hurting any relationships any partnerships Anyone in your job, family, whatever it may be for your situation. And meditation brings answers. Take some time for yourself. You are not speaking, Aquarius, because my throat is closing up. Give me one second. Sorry about that. Aquarius, meditation brings answers. There are changes that you need to make in your life. And I feel that you've already started making those changes. They're leading you to your answer of yes in the new year. You need to take some time to really figure out how you can be assertive in a diplomatic way. So one card each, 2019 sneak peek for Aquarius, please. And there is your Ten of Pentacles again. Temperance card. Two cards here. King of Pentacles and Queen of Swords. Okay. 
that is a partnership between air and earth that is you aquarius Libra, gemini king of pentacles taurus virgo capricorn the answer is yes within this partnership right some of you have been contemplating have been wondering whether or not this is the right partnership for you whether or not this is going to happen some of you when it comes to money yes you will be able to manifest that financial security that financial security you've got to be assertive you want this ten of pentacles you want abundance in life in family in home whatever it may be that partnership children dog family everybody happy fruitful abundant you're happily ever after stable and consistent in all areas of your life in order for you to get to that point you must be assertive so don't be afraid to make the changes for yourself with yourself and your surroundings in order for you to get to this partnership because you are working towards that yes that yes goal the temperance card right meditation brings answers because the temperance card is asking you to slow down just a little bit i know you want to run with it i know you want to rush the temperance card is asking you to temper yourself slow down don't be hasty when you try to rush through things you skip very important details of what you're trying to do you skip steps you make mistakes you fall back with the temperance card is there to remind you that it's okay to take your time in making these decisions and moving forward okay okay the deception card sneak sneaked out again okay so what is up with you guys aquarius you're holding back Temperance doesn't mean hold back from your, you know, from who you truly are with yourself and others. Be authentic to you. Romance Angel Oracle, sneak peek for 2019. Love energies for Aquarius for the year 2019. Very soon. Children. And one more, the yes card. This is in business and in love. You are the queen of swords. You've already gotten to the point, it doesn't matter if you're male, you've already gotten to the point of you know what you want, you're cutting away all the shit that's weighed you in the past, all the shit that's held you back. You've blocked everything that you've done that you've become aware where you've blocked your own abundance. Yes, you've taken the correct steps to get rid of that and that king of pentacles is the king of manifestation this is the guy with the midas touch everything he touches turns to gold what do you want for 2019 the answer is yes be confident be assertive don't be too hasty and moving forward okay especially if you're trying to rush the children thing the relationship take your time it is okay because the answer is yes it's on its way to manifesting for you don't feel as though you're running out of time if you feel as though oh you should have had children already oh you should have you know whatever it is in regards to you know marriage family whatever it may be if you feel as though it's it's not coming to you fast enough that temperance card is there to let you know that it's not coming to you fast enough because there are other things other situations that you need to work on before you can make that happen but the answer is yes the partnership the you know the love life the children the family life it's all happening for you next year one more card for that yes card please new love so for those of you that aren't in a relationship that new love is coming for you you are the queen or king of swords and your king of pentacles is coming let me tell you you are meeting your love life partner in the new year 
I love it. New love is coming in. They will make you feel like heaven on earth. If you've been thinking that this stable home, family, this abundant home isn't coming for you, isn't happening for you, everything takes time. Don't rush into anything that doesn't feel like this. You will know when that partnership comes in, in love and in your finances, in your business partnerships, it's all coming to you. 2019 is very, very positive for you. I can feel it. So, angels of abundance, because we've got that king of pentacles that has to do with the Midas touch, earthly matters, financial stability, abundance, and freedom. Let me have an Angels of Abundance card for 2019 for Aquarius, please. Obstacles and blocks are lifted. All your good personal work and your positive energy shift have overcome previous obstacles and blocks are lifted away. You will now experience progress and forward movement with your projects. Stay centered in gratitude to ensure that your flow of abundance continues. And your general reading spoke of forward movement, spoke of progress, of having faith, of trusting that everything, your optimistic point of view, your positivity, it's all bringing you to this point of change as you shift your energy to a much more positive outlook. The obstacles and blocks are lifted because they're not, they're not right in front of you. In the past, Maybe you're just getting over that, but in the past you felt like your obstacles and blocks are here and your positivity was over here. That just shifted. Your positive energy is up here and your obstacles and blocks are looking further and further away the more positive you remain. Messages from your angels, please, for Aquarius 2019. What energy do you have for them? What message do they need to take with them into 2019? I love it. Okay. Angel Francesca, what do you desire right now? Visualize it and it will come about. Negativity will block your progress, right? Negativity includes, right, lack mentality, worry, fear, doubtful energy. That blocks your progress. That leaves you behind. So the point that comes about here is your optimism, your faith, your trust in the universe and everything that's about to unfold for you in 2019. You have to just give it up to God, give it up to the universe and have faith that the positive outcome that you have been wanting, waiting for is unfolding in 2019 for you. If it hasn't started already, the more positive you remain in your own energy, the further that negative, pessimistic energy becomes. When you focus so much on your positive energy, you have no other choice but to continue focusing on positive energy. Goddess guidance for Aquarius 2019. What is the message for Aquarius 2019? One card, please. Okay, two cards. Artemis, the guardian. You and your loved ones are safe and spiritually protected. So some of you may have had a fear that this future you want for yourself wasn't going to happen. There, were, there was a doubtful energy. You were afraid of making changes in your life, whether or not you would be able to manifest that. But as the guardian in you and the guardian around you, 
you have this guardian energy around you. You and your loved ones are safe and spiritually protected. And Lakshmi, bright future. Stop worrying. Everything is going to be fine. Okay, let me get a close up, right? Aquarius, Aquarius, what did I just say? The further you push the negativity, the pessimistic, the worry energy, all that stuff. Push it away and keep the positive energy at the forefront. Stop worrying. Everything is going to be fine. Trust the universe. Trust the process. As long as you have faith and trust, it will work out. Guess what? It will. Okay, Aquarius, that was an awesome reading for you guys. I hope it resonated. Please give it a thumbs up if it did. Like, comment, share, subscribe. I will have your full 2019 forecast in uh, about a week or so, and then your mid-months will follow. I will also make your 2019 forecast available to you. I'm going to offer you guys a shortened version. For those that, you know, want to hold on to your Christmas money and don't want to spend too much, I hear you. And then, um, you know, if you want a really detailed, in-depth 2019 forecast, I will also make that available to you guys. All right. So there it is. Take care, everyone. Have a wonderful holiday. Bye.